In this video, we'll explore how vertex colors can be effectively used as a mask within shaders to create complex surface details on a single mesh. This technique is particularly useful in situations where you want to control material attributes locally without needing multiple UV maps or material slots. Using vertex colors as masks in shaders offers a lightweight and versatile method to apply different shading effects across a single object. It allows for creative freedom in texturing and is efficient in managing scene complexity, which is crucial for both game assets and high-quality renders. First, open Blender and create a new scene. For this demonstration, let's use a simple object like a UV sphere. Add the sphere to your scene and ensure it has enough geometry to hold detailed vertex colors. You can do this by adding a subdivision surface modifier if needed. Select your sphere. Switch to Vertex Paint Mode from the Interaction Mode menu. Now, invert the colors of the vertex in order to start with a black color. This is like having a black mask. Here, you can paint directly onto your model. Let's create a mask by painting part of the sphere with white. You could also paint with a color, but for simplicity, let's use white. This white color will serve as our mask. Switch to the shading workspace. We'll create a material that uses the vertex color as a mask to blend between two different shaders. Add a new material to the sphere if it doesn't have one already. For simplicity, remove the principled shader. Now, add a Color Attribute node. Select your vertex color layer if you have multiple layers. Then, add two diffuse shaders with two different colors. Next, add a Mix Shader node. Connect the outputs of two different shaders into the two shader inputs of the mix shader. Then, connect your color attribute node to the factor input of the mix shader. This basically means that we are using the vertex colors as a mask. Adjust the colors and properties of your two shaders. As you tweak these, you'll notice the effect of the vertex color mask. The parts you painted white will display one shader, while the rest will show the other. You can also go back to the vertex paint mode and modify the mask. You've just learned how to use vertex colors as a mask to control shaders in Blender. This technique is a powerful tool in your texturing workflow, providing flexibility and efficiency. Experiment with different colors and shaders to see how dynamically you can change the appearance of your models.